uh, we're going to move right on to active and passive range of motion uh, of the shoulder. So I've got my patient right here. What I typically do with my patients whenever I'm going through active and passive range of motion is I have them mimic me. So I'm actually going to step aside here so that we can focus on our patient. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my patient to go ahead and just copy exactly what I do. So I'm first going to start with forward flexion. So I'm going to have my patient slowly come up into forward flexion. Good. And then I'm going to have her slowly go ahead and come back down. And as you can see, she's reaching her full range. The next thing I'm going to have the patient do is go into full abduction. So we're going to come the whole way, abduct the whole way up. Excellent. And we're going to go ahead and come right back down. Good. And then we're going to externally rotate. The way that I like to describe this to my patients is I would like them to pretend that they have a piece of paper that they're trying to hold right up against the side of their body so it tucks their elbows in nice and tight. Then I'm going to have them watch me and they're going to externally rotate as far as they can. Excellent. Good. And they can go ahead and return back to neutral. So the last range of motion that I would like to go over is full internal rotation. So the way that I describe this to my patient is I'd like her to, to fully reach up to the back of her, of her back as much as she can. Excellent. And what I'm looking for is, first of all, a little bit of symmetry right here. Secondly, she doesn't have any pain with any of this. Now, one thing I do want to make a comment about is if you have a patient who, who is very muscular on one side versus another side, they might not necessarily get the same range of motion on their more muscular side compared to their less muscular, less dominant side. The next thing we're going to go over is scapular winging and how to evaluate for this. A lot of times I like to have my patient facing the wall and I like to instruct them to go into a slow forward flexion. The patient is usually already familiar with this because we already went through this in our range of motion. So I'm going to go ahead and ask my patient to slowly go into forward flexion. And what we're doing here is we're we are observing and evaluating her scapula. Go ahead and return back down. What you're looking for is you're looking for any significant winging on one scapula versus the other one as the patient is going into forward flexion and then returning back down to a neutral position.